explode into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so. I received the name Beetlejuice in 1836 by Sir John Herschel, an astronomer and a great scientist. I'm the second brightest star in the Orion constellation. After the star Rigel, we're seen from any of Earth's nations. My diameter's about 700 times that of your sun, and I'm 640 light years from the Earth. That's quite a run. But my surface temperature 6,000 degrees in Fahrenheit Cooler than your sun's surface 10,000 degrees, yeah that's right I'm so massive if you replaced your sun with me I'd reach past the orbit of Jupiter I'm gigantic, you see I'm considered a young star at just 10 million years old Soon to explode into a supernova Scientists say so I am Betelgeuse, I'm nearing the end of my life One of the top 10 brightest stars up in the night Sky. I am a red super giant expected to explode into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so. A red super giant is an aging giant star that has consumed its core supply of hydrogen fuel, that's what they are. Helium has accumulated in my core so well, and hydrogen's undergoing nuclear fusion in my outer shells. When my outer shells expand, I take on a red color because I'm cooler than I was, I'm happy to discover. Red super giants are the largest known stars in the universe, and I'm expected to supernova. But on to the next verse During fusion heavier atoms are created Until my core is iron That's when I'll run out of fuel Without even trying When that happens to a star as massive as me The entire star collapses and explodes It's a supernova you see When I do supernova I'll create quite a sight Some predict I'll even look like your full moon's brightest light The radiation I put off from becoming a supernova wouldn't affect Earth because I'm 640 light years over. I am Betelgeuse, I'm nearing the end of my life. One of the top 10 brightest stars up in the night sky. I am a red super giant expected to explode into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so. I'm a quasi star, also called the black hole star. How bizarre, I'm a hypothetical type of extremely massive luminous star. I'm a quasi star, I may have existed early in the history of the universe. Now let's learn more about me. I'm a quasi star, and I am hypothetical, but what's this? It means I haven't been proven as yet to exist. I'm a theorized star, bigger than a red super giant star. At 10 billion kilometers in radius, I'd be the biggest by far. Here's a size comparison of what I'd look like hypothetically in our universe against other stars, so you can clearly see. Let's start with your sun in the center of your solar system with a radius of 696,347. The sun is classified as a yellow dwarf star, which is massive to humans, but very small compared to other stars. I'm 7,000 times the size of your sun, which is quite impressive in size. I'd be bigger than anyone. This is Pollux, a red giant star. It's 5.5 million kilometers size this far but when you compare it to me it really looks tiny i would consume it if it got too close pulling it in with my gravity here's a red super giant star going by the name of beetlejuice with a radius of 617 million kilometers of energy to produce but when compared to me it is plain and clear to see i am tremendous next to it let's move on to the next star next to me this is you i scoot a red super giant as well so you can tell this is what it looks like when compared to me in size it's hard to fathom just how massive i am it's no surprise this is a red super giant or possibly a red hyper giant star it goes by the name of stevenson 2-18 it's the biggest by far it has a radius in kilometers of 1.4 billion in size as you can see it's small compared to me in the night sky maybe astronomers can discover a quasi star like me someday Oh, man.
massive galaxies I'm a super massive black hole There are theories of how I'm formed Come and join me and see There are three types of black holes According to theory Primordial, stellar, and super massive like me The primordial's a tiny hypothetical black hole In 1974 Stephen Hawking theorized its role Primordials were formed in the early universe But we'll learn about this more when I teach that topics course On to the most common type called the stellar black hole But let's first see why a star exists before it loses control The pressure from the nuclear fuel in the core pushes outward so greatly While the force of an equal power pushing in is caused by gravity This equal pressure does create the star's main sequence stage That means a star is stable its present burning age when it starts with the sun's mass run out of nuclear fuel in its core it becomes a red giant that quietly becomes a white dwarf but it starts with 25 the mass of your solar system sun runs out of nuclear fuel its gravity crushes the core and becomes a stellar it's the most common type in the universe now i will tell you how i'm created of course now i'm a super massive black hole the third type of black hole scene Black hole's a region of space with a force of gravity so strong That nothing, not even light can escape You've learned in this song How I acquired my mass is still yet to be determined And astronomers are still working on how I'm formed, that is certain Some think I'm formed from the collapse of a massive cloud of gas During the early stages of the formation of galaxies with mass My parts start with the accretion disk orbiting around me It's superheated and dust swirling around the singularity the singularity is the very center of a black hole you see made up of matter collapsed into a region of infinite density the event horizons the radius around the singularity which energy and matter cannot escape the black hole's gravity the innermost stable orbits the last place material orbit safely without the risk of falling past the point of no return in me a photon sphere is a location where gravity is strong that light can travel in circles and orbiting the black hole are photons. I feed on stars, dust and gas and produce jets of near light speed. Blasting particles and radiation out of my poles as you can see. These are relativistic jets and the last part I'll talk 